What's up YouTube? This episode is going to be about installing an eBay steering wheel to my 240SX. And like I mentioned in the last video, uh, I've got the hub adapter. It's a very cheap one. Uh, all this horn stuff that, that came with, with this guy and these trim panels come with the steering wheel. Uh, there might be some, there's actually the center push button on the steering wheel. I'm not going to be including the horn. Uh, this kind of stuff is so cheap and uh, it's bound to break and what, what I'm what I don't want happening is that wire or circuit breaking in in there somewhere and all of a sudden it starts grounding out as you're turning the wheel and the horn starts honking as you're turning um, I've seen it happen before on other vehicles it's not going to happen to me if I have to put a push button somewhere for a horn uh, I will I'll probably keep the original steering wheel so that if uh, for any 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 reason I have to do a safety inspection uh, or sell the car someone could put back the factory wheel and at least have the factory horn switch um, to get through a safety inspection. This should be pretty standard to install. Uh, I'm going to show you how to properly remove a steering wheel in a, in a car. I'm hoping my kit works. Uh, it's pretty universal. It's got enough adapters for lots of different types of wheels to come off and uh, putting this one on this adapter I mean you could see the cheapness to it uh, it's not something I really should have bought and should be using um, but for now it'll get the wheel mounted onto the car and then if I choose to upgrade it later to, to something else um, maybe a shallow quick release or something um, or just something a little better quality than this one. So I'll go about getting set up, take the factory wheel off, and uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully I can get this stuff attached and looks all right, and functions all right. So sitting inside the car now, I've got the old style steering wheel. Um, it's got no airbag, so I don't have to worry about that. Uh, the horn actually does work, but I've just found this connector right here you give it a little push and a pull that's for the horn so I should be able to wire this off to another switch use it quite easily somewhere else and not have to worry about that cheap horn ring getting cockeyed and just blasting off when I don't want it to because um, I got a feeling that's gonna happen so to start you got to get this horn this horn cap off uh, and I see some screws back here some Phillips screws so I'll start by taking those out and I'm hoping one, probably this inner one I don't know one of them's got to release this thing because I'm giving a good pull on it and I don't see screws anywhere else so I don't know I this rear screw here I don't think this outside one has anything to do with it. The inside one is actually missing. So I think you just you probably just give a good pull on it. <laughs> I don't want to well, it doesn't really matter if I break it, but I, I don't know. Oh yeah, it's coming. So now we just got the uh, this uh, steering shaft nut. That's obviously got to come off. Here's the uh, the holes that we'll be threading bolts into to use the the the, the kit to remove the steering wheel. Um, this is a basic kit over here. This is something I've had for many many years. I bought it from a Mac Tools dealer for off of his truck. Um, and these should be these metric bolts that I'm going to use. I've used these so many times that the ends are kind of worn, but really this this kit has removed a lot of steering wheels for customer vehicles in the past and uh, it's served me well. It's even got like these hook style for some weird European vehicles. Uh, 
and I mean all the basic old GM stuff you can get any old GM Ford Dodge wheel off no problem so I'm gonna kind of set that up here and kind of set the camera back onto the seat and you can see how I get it set up this nuts a, a 19 mil shouldn't take a lot of force to get it out of there and this is a pretty long arm ratchet I just hold the steering wheel real tight actually that wasn't very tight at all <laughs> and uh, I like to back the nut pretty much all the way off at least where I know the tool will still go in there uh, actually let's just take the thing right off we don't need there anymore and now uh, to set up the puller okay so I've got the puller and uh, the bolts are dropped down through the flat side and that's kind of how you want this set this is kind of bridged like this for extra strength and you want to use that flat side so the bolts sit flat and they don't go on an angle uh, these are the M8 1.25 bolts and we're just going to thread the two bolts into these holes and then I'll just thread in the center piece until it touches the end of the steering shaft and the steering shaft has a little uh, kind of a little recession for the pinpoint end on, on this so that's kind of all set in there now and the idea is just to crank this tight and it's going to push down on the center of the shaft the two bolts are going to hold onto the steering wheel and it's going to literally pull the steering wheel off the shaft and there I can tell it already cracked free it was that simple so in all, in all honestly I, I probably didn't even need to do that I probably could have just whacked it with my hands and the thing would have popped off no problem uh, I've seen steering wheels taken off all kinds of different ways uh, from you know simple just pounding on the end of the steering wheel and trying to work it off to like uh, Greco-Roman wrestling with the thing uh, to just applying a lot of pressure on it and then snapping the center shaft with a hammer or something that'll pop them off and uh, this one came off super easy I just kind of wanted to show you the proper way to remove a steering wheel. So getting this thing to actually line up could be a real pain in the ass uh, and because this car needs a major alignment anyway there's a good possibility I might have to actually pop the wheel because when I drive down the road it's already at an angle and uh, I really don't know where it's going to be centering up so um, I'll have to wait till the alignment's kind of over and done with and I may just set recenter the whole wheel if the alignment's really close and the wheel's generally close, then I might be able to dial it out with the alignment. Um, but if it's, you know, if the tie rods adjustment are, are, are too far to one end, or I just don't like how, how they don't center up, then, then I will pull the wheel and redo it. And you never know, I might end up pulling this hub back off and redoing it too. Um, I'm pretty sure it's going to tighten on there, no problem. Uh, seems pretty tight fitting already. And I can see that there is a taper to it, so it should go on uh, pretty easy. I noticed there, there's, I pulled off some rubber out of here. There must have been a rubber seal around this bearing. Um, I'm going to see if I have an O-ring that will kind of sit in there and maybe protect it a little more. Just a, some regular grease high quality stuff I'm just gonna try and get it to go into that bearing just a tiny little bit but I found uh, an o-ring to go in there and kind of cover over top of that I don't know how well it's gonna stay up in there and how far down this thing's gonna seat down to it um, but I'm pretty sure it's far because these nubs here are to actually cancel the signals you see how that little nub sticks out when I put the signal down to the left and as that comes around that sweeps around when you start turning and making your right turn the wheel actually hits that and the same with the left down here on the left there's another little nub and as it comes around it hits that and it cancels it out for you so this adapter was bought for this car but I don't know uh, 
how eBay it's gonna screw me so you see those are a little bit more inboard those are a little bit more outboard uh, so you have to f figure out on your steering wheel which holes you'll be using and the ones I need to use are the more inboard holes so I'm gonna want to place this guy on something like that maybe That might work because I know it's tilted off to the left a little bit. So the one way to find out really is to uh, put the nut back on and crank it all the way tight. Well, I mean, I've got it cranked on pretty tight already. It's not going to seat all the way down. I can tell it's not going to actually cancel the signals. Uh, it sticks out too far. I'm going to be looking for a replacement hub eventually, an adapter of some kind. I don't like this one at all. This is just kind of see how the wheel is going to sit in there. Uh, it's going to already sit too far out for my liking. Because um, even though it's a shallow wheel, I don't know, it's not that bad actually. No, I'm going to have to sit in the car and see what it's like. I would like it to sit a little bit further in though. Um, but we'll see. It'll probably feel pretty decent. So the next thing is to attach the steering wheel to the hub and they give you some nice little allen head screws. Um, they get a nice little taper on the head and so does the steering wheel. It's got a dished taper to it. Uh, so these would fasten in there quite well. Um, what they do supply with the steering wheel is this trim ring. It's supposed to go over top, but what that's going to do is act as a plastic washer and eventually rocking the steering wheel against it, it's going to crack and your steering wheel is going to come loose. So this trim ring, if you ever have such a thing and the bolts are tightening up against it, no, that's garbage, just throw it away. <laughs> so the next step, I'm just going to take the bolts wind them in here and start tightening them all up you could use a little bit of blue Loctite on there if you wanted uh, I think this is gonna fasten up fine and I'm probably gonna have it apart in the near future anyway so I'm just gonna put the bolts in as is So there it is all fully tightened on, um, it's quite sturdy, it does have a little bit more flex than, than what I was able to do by hand, like I can understand if you're out on the racetrack or something how you can really be pulling on it and uh, putting your weight up against it, so, but I think for now, getting rid of the stock wheel and having this as a replacement, uh, definitely going to work for me. So the center uh, horn button. I've actually gone ahead and sprayed it out black and, and it does kind of sit in there and I think it'll just stay in there if I pop it in place. So uh, we'll uh, I'll grab that and see what it looks like. So here I have what they call the, the horn switch that came with the steering wheel and you can see it's got the Sparco name in it. A little, tiny little bit of my fingerprint in there. <laughs> uh, so I just sprayed over it black to do because it just looks so cheap and but I did find this fit in here pretty good just something like that and that's how it's gonna stay so yeah overall I uh, I, I really like the appearance I like the feel of it uh, it's only about an maybe an inch closer to me than the factory wheel uh, it is a tiny little bit smaller than the factory wheel 
there's a gap back here that you can actually see where the adapter isn't fully seated. Uh, it's certainly on there, like it's tight. Uh, and the wheel feels really good, like, um, I've got zero complaints about it. So I've actually got a couple more interior pieces to put in that I've ordered, uh, but I'll just kind of bring them out as one episode and install them all at the same time, just to kind of complete it a little bit more. Um, I would eventually like to put carpet in this car. Uh, I found a decent deal on, on carpet uh, that's brand new and fitted, uh, and they offer a couple different uh, quality styles, so just to go with the cheap carpet, just to have carpet, that's probably what I'll end up doing, but that, you know, that's not anytime soon. It's just something that I found and something that I want to do. Um, and then, I mean, other than that, the, the interior will be kind of, kind of complete. It, it'll need a good over cleaning and, um, it'll be the way that I kind of want it anyway. And here, I'll just give you an idea of what it kind of looks like from the outside of the car and how it sits in its position. And, let me know what you think in the comments. So yeah, I realize what I've done here. It's just a cheap eBay steering wheel. Uh, probably made in China. Who knows what it's actually made of, how safe it is. But I'll, I'll be the guinea pig in this one and, and I'll check it out. Uh, it's definitely not something that a lot of people are gonna use in their car. But I wanted something different. I wanted to get rid of the, old, the 27 year old sticky steering wheel that was in the car and have something brand new to me. Um, definitely changes the look and appearance. And like I said earlier, maybe I'll end up changing out that hub for something else later. Maybe the whole setup later, I, I, who knows? It, it's too too early to tell. And for the cost of the steering wheel, it's probably around $115, $20 Canadian. Uh, that's with the hub. I did buy them separately. Um, but I mean, you could, who knows? You might be able to find something cheaper. Uh, a lot of the steering wheels, the finishes just aren't aren't really well done, especially down down in the spoke. Uh, there's a lot of oddness to some of them, and you'll see little patches and stuff. This was the, one of the cleanest ones for as cheap as it was. Uh, I wasn't a you know the most huge fan of the red highlights with the stitching and the and the, the indicator on top. Um, but I mean, all in all, it's. Uh, it's del definitely worth the money in my opinion. So yeah, on another note, how about that fight last night? Uh, now actually this is pre-fight recording, so I have no idea how it went, but how about that fight last night? Uh, yeah, I, uh, I, I don't know what the results are because it's before it's even happened, but uh, I'm sure it was going to be a great fight and uh, kind of getting excited. Uh, so yeah, shoot down in the comments what you thought about it, uh, and uh, if something crazy happens or whatever. And uh, if you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button for me. Uh, leave your questions and comments further down below, and I'll see you in the next one.